Well, if these people are able to stay calm and keep their breathing low, they may be able to extend their time limit of 30 hours. Back now with a look at some of the day's other top stories. The U.S. Coast Guard says the submersible that went missing on its way to view the wreckage of the Titanic has about 30 hours of oxygen left. Five people are on board. This submersible started its expedition Sunday morning and lost contact less than two hours into the dive. Former NASA astronaut. Wow, less than two hours after the dive? Like, how shoddy is the equipment? And our Colonel Terry Verts is friends with one of the people on board. Verts spoke from Houston today and he says he remains hopeful. The really good news is that we haven't had bad news. We haven't, you know, seen wreckage floating. We haven't heard that explosion underwater in the sonar. So uh, that means that we don't know that anything bad has happened and it's very possible that they are awaiting rescues. And it's quite possible that they're like stuck uh, between a couple rocks and can't get free. For a miracle, on board the vessel is a Frenchman who pilots the submersible, a British billionaire, a Titanic expert, and a Pakistani businessman and his son. It costs more than $250,000 each to get on the submersible.